you seeing it, Tom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Yuna. Right now, I, I mean, we filmed a very long time ago, but this moment right now is completely surreal. The cameras, the, it was just, it was insane. I, I hope I come up okay in the pictures because I think my cheeks are really sore. Um, but right now, it's pretty much everything that I've been dreaming about. It's, it's great. I was born in Durban, uh, and I moved to Cape Town in 2006, and I studied uh, copywriting in Rydney, and naturalized Cape Town. Okay. And what is your future plan? My future plan? Um, I think what I want to do is inspire South Africans to cook seasonally and locally. Um, and I don't know, I've got some interesting offers since the show started airing, so I've watched the space. Is to, to start a restaurant or something in the food industry? From the beginning I said that my food dream was more along the media sort of line. I don't think I'll do a restaurant and I don't think I'll do a book deal either. Okay. Watch the space, who's next? Gabby! Hi. Wait for a mic. Uh, is there a mic? No, no mic is coming. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Gabby's new <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Gabby from Sunny Times. Um, first, between the two of you, it must have been hard to keep the secret. You've known that long. We were with you guys in January already, mm -hmm. where you did top 10. But how did you maintain? the secretness of actually just saying, oh, okay, I won't tell my friends about that. But also with um, Ibnet, I wanted to find out how exactly do you guys tie these guys to contracts and saying that you can't do A, B, and C, because we did a, a speed dating, I don't know how everybody will understand this. Uh, we did a speed dating with them. Was is it, is it like a pitch for you guys, but also for them, was it kind of like a contract binding thing and how far they bind it to your guys' contract. Also with Dina getting a restaurant, what does this mean for Kamini? <laughs> okay, I think I think we can start with Kamini and Yandri and you can tell you can tell everyone whether it was difficult to keep the secret or not, and then we'll move on to the other questions. Go for it, Kamini. Uh, thanks Gabby. It was kind of easy to keep the secret, to be honest, because the contracts were quite simple. If you tell anybody, we'll sue you, and then we'll take your cats, we'll take your roller skates, and then you're done for. So, I mean, thank you. How about you? Um, hi, Gabby. <laughs> I joined our date. Um, it was easy for me because I had Celine with me, so she had she knew everything, everything. Could she even watch the final? So. She, she understood exactly what I've been through and also Kamini and I had our families with us at the final so there's always someone who you can just kind of download on and say, you know, these people are being mean, you yeah. <laughs> know, there's always someone there who understands, so yeah. that, that was rather nice, I suppose for perhaps some of the other contestants who weren't fortunate enough to have that safety net or family being there, it might have been more difficult for them, but for us it was just quite nice because we had people who were actually allowed to be there and um, joined in in the in the whole event so that they understood what we had been through. So in the end it worked out quite well. 